Welcome back, everyone, to Almost Reviews. It's a channel where we're going to be uploading videos for collectibles in general, action models like some of the last videos from anime and video games. Today, we have the plastic model kit for Duke Mon or Galland Mon. Depends on how you know it. Leave in the comments below how would you come, come to know this figure. So, it comes highly articulated from the figure rise standard. You can display it with or without his shield and lance, ram and uh, his. I really like this. I already saw some of the pictures of this already assembled. It comes also with an extra base just for the shield. I guess it's kind of heavy for it to stand by its own, but well. Let's get started with this one. I promise we're going to see a less Digimon in the few next videos. So start, as always, the runners. These are many, many runners, almost like for the Jor hat like unit. Big as stickers, like really big stickers. And, well, instruction manual. Same simple instruction manual as in all the figure rise models. Well, let's get this over with and assemble this figure. Of the shield you have to match these three points with these three points on the left and these small ones here with these ones as well as the big one has to go with the big one I mean there's a slightly lar larger pin here that has to go here that's how you control them so just like this to try to match the pins oh sorry mostly like this and then just start matching the pins and there we go so whenever you want to transform the shield you pull the lever here and these come out you can make them like this and when you want to store them you push this lever to the other side 
it pushes them and you will finish the job so that's it for the shield for the assembly of the cape first you have to take each part of the cape it consists of three parts and five kind of stickers but they're kind of vinyl from the runner after that you have to fold them by half and and also turn a, every lip to the inside so they can start fitting on each part of the plastic part it's kind of tricky to do it at first that's why i'm just showing how to assemble one or two and after that you have to get another part from the runner to keep them on place once on place they're not moving once you get both parts like a sandwich and that's it Well, here we have it, Dukemon or Galenmon, as you wish. Well, what I'm about to say, my, it is my second favorite after Wargreymon in the figure rise standard. I love the articulations, I love its sturdiness. It can hold the shield in position with no problem. The stand is just to avoid the figure from leaning to the front. But well, articulation in the arms, it's for the shoulders, it's very limited, but we have two 360s in a ball joint and here in, in the arm, as well as the, in the elbow. In the waist, we have a 360, very good articulation here for the legs. We have a double joint, so we can get really, bend, really good bends there. This figure comes with no stand, but you, for well, for the figure, just for the shield, but you can use any Figma stand that you straight it you're going to see in the photos. So I really hope they continue with this trend in the line because I don't think so, because Bandai needs to sell their own stands. But if you have got a Figma stand, go for it. I really like the, the details on the shield. Here we have some Digicode. I really like how the shiny colors look. And well, for the transformation, we have a little lever on the back that I show you how to build. I'm not a fan of this, but I'm not against it either. either. Use a lever to put it back on place. There's also a gimmick for the spear. I'm going to show you some pictures later. I really love what they did with the cape. I mean, it can look like one piece altogether. You can move it, highly possible. If they were to make a hexamon figure, this is the only way they can make that, those enormous wings. This is what I was telling you about the legs. Really like, really good bending. The head, it just can give a complete 360, but it's good. The arm is already good. So I tell you, it can hold the shield no problem without the stand. You just need to be careful with the lean forward. Well, well, I'm going to show you some, as you can see right now, the base is not even touching the, the mat and is holding it by itself. Okay, so I'm going to show you some size comparisons and some pictures about this figure. If you were having any doubts on getting it, just don't think about it. Get on the wait list wherever you buy your figures, being not being sponsored by any of them, I wish. Hobby Link or Big Bad Toy Store, but it's going to be a, at least two months of wait list. That's what I waited for the Mugen Ramon. So let's go to the size comparisons, guys. Moving on to the size comparisons, here we have that this figure, ignoring the tip of the spear, is six inches and a half, a little bit more. Now, here we have it next to Miku, Agumon, and Kigurumi. Continuing with the Digimon trend now. I don't know how it came to happen. 
we have Imperial Roman fighter mode. It's like one inch taller from the tip of, well, the forehead of Dukemon to the tip of the crown of Imperial Roman. And here we have Omegamon or Omnimon, depending on how you know him. This is the first time I think Krigo Rise is kind of scale because as I remember, Omega Mon is shorter than Duke Mon. And here we have the great Chun Chun Maru. Well, here you have some pictures I took of the figure. I mean, I think I'm getting better or maybe just the Figma stand or that this model kit is very sturdy. But here you have some different poses, different angles so you can appreciate it. And well, if you are liking these videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you on the next video.